So this lab is a continuation of the previous one. Now we have incorporated some extra circuitry to close the loop. Notice that the temperature is being displayed here again in Celsius. We have a small temperature sensor that puts out 10 millivolts per Kelvin. We have a light bulb here that we're going to use as a heater. And this heater is being then driven by this DAC. The DAC is taking an 8-bit value from port B through a power transistor to drive this light bulb. Now the DAC's value can be done in many different ways. We could just put a blank value into the assembly language program, but in our case, we're going to use this potentiometer. The value that is read from this pot on a different A to D channel is then going to be reflected back into the DAC, so that gives the user ability to turn this pot to make this DAC vary its output and also vary the intensity of this light bulb. On a side note, notice that this DAC requires 12 volts, and you can see it in the schematic that's accompanied with the lab. But to get 12 volts from this board, take a note that this long jumper wire has to come up and go into this terminal over here, the third one from the left. That's how you get 12 volts on this board to the DAC. Now, to take a look at how this program operates, notice that the temperature is at ambient, about 24 degrees Celsius. And, of course, we have the sensor that is tied to the light bulb. Now, the pot is currently fully counterclockwise, which is zero volts going into it, the A to D channel, which in then sends a zero, zero hex to the DAC, which means the light bulb is off. Well, let's go ahead and turn this pot a little bit. And we notice that the light bulb is beginning to come on. Okay, And notice that it's not quite as smooth as you can imagine. As I turn the pot, it takes a second for the light bulb to respond. So watch this. I'm going to turn the pot, and then it takes maybe about half a second for the light bulb to respond. And the reason that is true is because we have a continuous loop in our program. And so because of the delays associated with uh, this display here, it takes a little bit for the, uh, for the program to get to the point where it reads the A to D value and sends it to the DAC. So, consequently, our control is a little bit jerky. Um, in any case, notice that the light bulb is fully on, and we can see that the temperature has risen quite a bit. We're currently at 31 degrees Celsius and rising. And so now we have kind of a rudimentary way to um, control the heat that's coming out of a bulb using a potentiometer that's connected to a DAC and is read back by the program to the seven-segmented display. Now this program can be improved in many ways and we're going to do that in subsequent labs.